how should we live here on Earth, can only be answered out there. So, what do you think? Is mankind ready to leave its home? A philosophical question, but if you're asking about technology, we'll have it in a couple of years. But whether we're truly ready for it, every person has to make up their own mind. So do you believe in aliens? If I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon, we will fly to the stars and become aliens to other races. Huh. I never thought about it that way before. Thanks. That's a funny way to use a Belyash. Yeah, I was surprised too. Apparently, the MA-9 can use its polymer emitter to form an image-producing grid. In effect, this robot now doubles as a high-resolution video camera and projector. No thanks, I'm good. Fuck me, I just talked to that guy for ten minutes, and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. You're being too hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. <laughs> Space expert, my left nut. Going forward, I hope you can exhibit the same professionalism you expect from those around you. That goes double for you. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major! Today is a joyful occasion! The birthday of Collective! Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally! This is the future of Soviet education! A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education! Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions! From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission.
Welcome, comrade. That's some interesting art you got there. You like it? They were made by robots for this festive occasion. I, I figured they were drawn by humans. Oh, wonderful. That means we have successfully imitated the output of a human art club. Thank you for the compliment. May I be of service? Yeah, looks like a bot job to me. You don't like it? We analyzed dozens of drawings made by various Comsomol art instructors in order to imitate the style. Please point out what exactly is not to your liking, and we will amend our practice in the future. You're celebrating too? Naturally. We are part of Collective 2. For us robots, universal polymerization is our goal. Our duty, even our feet of labor. Would you like me to explain in more detail? No, no, thanks anyway. I'm in a hurry. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Hello, welcome to your future. Welcome to Facility 3826. Today, we stand on the greatest advance in the history of a man. We find ourselves just one small step away from an immediate victory. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Report to the lobby of that high rise coming in the last few decades. They're waiting for you. Thanks to my invention of Euro polymers and the process of genetic adaptation, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans so will be able glad to, to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. And the car is waiting. Finally, we we must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Drudgery it's been left with one of his bodyguards. And yeah, that's ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. For all mankind, together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind, free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge, and of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize. Literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your Thought Neural Connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of Neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a... Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you?
Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from in one of every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. 